The Colosseum, Rome's Magnificent Ancient Marv. In the heart of Rome, a grand and awe-inspiring monument stands as a testament to the glory of the ancient Roman Empire. The Colosseum, the Flavian Amphitheater, is one of Rome's most iconic and enduring symbols of power and ingenuity. This massive arena, with its towering walls and intricate architecture, has captured the imagination of people for centuries. In this detailed exploration of the Colosseum's ancient history, we will journey back to understand its origins, construction, purpose, and the remarkable events that unfolded within its walls. The Birth of the Colosseum The story of the Colosseum begins in the year 69 AD when Rome was in turmoil. The Julio-Claudian dynasty had come to a turbulent end with the death of Nero, and the Roman Empire was plunged into a year of civil war known as the Year of the Four Emperors. During this chaotic period, the Flavian dynasty emerged, led by Vespasian, a seasoned military commander, and his sons Titus and Domitian. One of the first acts of the Flavian emperors was to erase the memory of Nero's extravagant and controversial Domus Aurea, which included a massive artificial lake and sprawling gardens. Vespasian decided to fill in this lake and repurpose the land to construct a new public monument that would symbolize the empire's might. The location chosen for this grand endeavor was in the heart of Rome, near the Roman Forum. A large artificial lake had previously occupied the site and the gardens of Nero's palace, making it ideal for constructing a massive arena. Building the Colosseum required an extraordinary feat of engineering and architecture. The Colosseum's design was a marvel of engineering, featuring a colossal elliptical structure made primarily of concrete, sand, and tufa stones. The architects believed to be Titus and Domitian's chief engineers, devised a plan to construct an amphitheater with a capacity of over 50,000 spectators. An immense quantity of materials was required to create such a vast structure. Slaves, skilled laborers, and craftsmen from across the Roman Empire were brought in to work on the project. The construction materials, including travertin limestone for the outer facade, were sourced from quarries across Italy. Construction of the Colosseum began in 70 AD under the rule of Vespasian but was completed during the reign of his successor and elder son, Titus, in 80 AD. It is a testament to the efficiency and skill of Roman engineering that such a monumental structure could be built in just 10 years. The Purpose of the Colosseum The Colosseum's completion marked the beginning of a new era in Roman entertainment and political strategy. This magnificent amphitheater was not merely a building but a symbol of Roman power, and its primary purpose was multifaceted. Gladiatorial combat was a central aspect of the Colosseum's programming. Gladiators, often slaves or prisoners of war, were rigorously trained in specialized schools called ludi. These warriors, who fought with various weapons and styles, became celebrities and heroes of the arena. The Colosseum's games featuring gladiators attracted enormous crowds, and the spectacles became increasingly elaborate and violent over the years. The cheers and jeers of the audience, along with the fate of the gladiators, were decided by a thumbs-up or thumbs-down gesture from the presiding editor. The Colosseum was also home to extravagant animal hunts known as V-Nations. Exotic animals from all corners of the Roman Empire were imported for these events, showcasing Rome's vast reach and dominance. The excitement of watching exotic creatures, such as lions, tigers, elephants, and crocodiles, pitted against each other or against skilled hunters provided a unique form of entertainment for the Roman populace. The Colosseum's design allowed for flooding its central arena to stage mock naval battles. Naumachia refers to these grand-scale aquatic spectacles, where ships and gladiators reenacted famous naval conflicts from history. The elaborate Namakiae required an intricate system of channels, pumps, and drainage to flood and drain the arena efficiently. This display of engineering prowess added to the Colosseum's reputation as a marvel of Roman innovation. The Colosseum as a political tool. Beyond its role as an entertainment venue, 
the Colosseum was also a powerful political tool for the emperors and the Roman state. The Flavian emperors recognized the potential of the Colosseum as a means to gain favor with the Roman populace. By hosting lavish games and events, they sought to secure the loyalty and support of the people. The Colosseum's colossal size and grandeur were physical manifestations of the empire's strength. It symbolized the might of Rome, both in terms of its engineering capabilities and its ability to command vast resources. The games and events held within the Colosseum distracted the population from the political and economic challenges of the time. They allowed emperors to maintain control over the masses through entertainment and spectacle. The Decline and Transformation The Colosseum's role and significance began to evolve as the Roman Empire faced internal strife and external threats. In the later years of the Roman Empire, there was a growing sense of moral and ethical concern regarding the violence and cruelty of the games. Christian teachings, gaining popularity, also condemned gladiatorial combat and animal hunts. Maintaining the Colosseum and organizing the grand spectacles placed a tremendous financial burden on the empire. As resources dwindled, the lavish games became less frequent and extravagant. With the decline of the Roman Empire, the Colosseum's purpose shifted. It was repurposed as a fortress, a quarry for building materials, and even a residential area in the medieval period. The Colosseum also faced the wrath of nature. Earthquakes and fires caused considerable damage to the structure over the centuries. Neglect and indifference further contributed to its deterioration. Preservation and Restoration Despite centuries of neglect and misuse, the Colosseum's enduring presence in Rome could not be ignored. Efforts to preserve and restore this iconic monument began in the Renaissance and continue today. During the Renaissance, there was a renewed interest in classical antiquity, and the Colosseum symbolized Rome's glorious past. Artists and scholars sketched, painted, and wrote about the amphitheater, contributing to its rediscovery and cultural importance. Throughout history, popes have played a significant role in preserving the Colosseum. Pope Benedict XIV declared it a sacred site in the 18th century, effectively ending the use of the amphitheater as a quarry. Extensive archaeological excavations were conducted in the 19th and 20th centuries to uncover the Colosseum's original structure and features. These efforts provided valuable insights into its history and allowed for partial restoration. Modern efforts to preserve the Colosseum include the installation of a new floor to replicate the original arena, restoring the outer facade, and improving visitor facilities. These projects aim to ensure the Colosseum's longevity for future generations. Legacy of the Colosseum The Colosseum's enduring legacy extends far beyond its ancient origins and historical significance. The Colosseum remains an enduring symbol of Rome, attracting millions of visitors worldwide each year. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity, engineering prowess, and artistic achievements of the Roman Empire. The Colosseum has inspired countless artists, writers, and filmmakers throughout history. Its grandeur and dramatic history have been featured in literature, paintings, and movies, making it a cultural touchstone. In 1980, the Colosseum was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, acknowledging its cultural and historical significance on a global scale. This designation highlights the importance of preserving this ancient wonder for future generations. Conclusion The Colosseum, Rome's greatest monument, is a testament to the enduring legacy of the Roman Empire. The Colosseum's history is rich and complex, from its humble origins as a repurposed palace site to its grandeur as a symbol of Roman power and engineering marvel. Its purpose as an entertainment venue, political tool, and cultural icon has evolved over the centuries, reflecting different eras changing values and priorities. Today, the Colosseum continues to captivate the world as a symbol of Rome's glorious past and a reminder of the enduring power of human creativity and innovation.